<laughs> Me and my friends were walking down this road and two boys were coming towards us and they asked us um, where we're from. I don't think we're from the right area, so they ended up taking my phone, some money, and just say with my friends. 35% of young people will be victim in any one year. We're seeing more personal crime coming through the system with theft, which is mobile phone theft, iPods, the latest technology that kids are carrying on and people want and they'll use force to get it. A boy on my bus on the way home just happened to have a BB gun on him and he just leaned over the back of the chair in front of me and shot me just, just under my eye. We initially called the school, I think, was the, well, that was what we did initially because it had happened on the school bus. Um, and they suggested that we call the police. There was a lot of anger afterwards and, and uh, a lot of frustration that you, you, you want to, to, to get revenge, but you, you can't because you know it will, you'll be as bad as them. A lot of young people we see through the system want to seek revenge on the person. They want to go out and hurt the person as much as they have hurt them, which isn't the right way to go about things because it's going to cause a whole load of trouble. But also, potentially, they could get hurt even worse. But it's OK to feel these feelings. It is OK to feel angry, but they need to release them in a more positive way. Well, I was on my way home from school. A guy just came up to me, hit me, and next thing I know, you know, you're in hospital and you're being told that your eye socket is fractured and you're going to have to go four hours' worth of surgery to put it back together again. Once all the bruising started to go, then you sort of think things are going to return to normal, and then they don't. And David's still hiding up indoors. He wouldn't go outside. School was certainly out of the question for a while. Um, he couldn't face going back. A lot of different emotions and feelings go on with young people after a crime. They could be feeling one thing after the crime and six months down the line they'll be feeling something completely different. They might be upset, they might be sad, they're scared to go out, they're always looking behind them. But the worst thing is about victims is they blame themselves. No victim should ever blame themselves because it's never their fault. Being a victim of crime really made me feel a bit threatened and I had to be conscious of my surroundings and see who's around me and ha the quickest escape route and stuff like that, just so I can feel safe. If you can actually stand and say, well, actually, I'm not coping with this particularly well, I don't really know where to go with it, I need help. I think that's more of a strength than it is a weakness, because actually to ask for help is quite a brave thing to do. Through the police, we were put in touch with victim support, and that was the turning point. That then, they then shoo us, really, that we have come a long way. You're not a victim anymore, but you can be if you don't do anything. And it's up to you now, the choices you take, to make it positive. It's brilliant because you suddenly find someone that you can talk to and you can get over all these questions that you have, all these why me's, all these what ifs, and they're there to reassure you that it's natural to feel like this. These emotions, you know, they're there for a reason.